right. Well, good morning, all. Today's Thursday. I don't even know what the date is. Owie. Hand is still healing. Got some good rash on the glove there. Knuckles got scraped up a little bit. Knuckles on this one got scraped up as I <laughs> went down on my left uh, a little over a month ago. Doing better, though. Hand is still swollen. Hard to get in and out of the glove, but I'm trying to get back in my uh, riding routine now that the uh, fantastic weather is here. It's about 68 right now. Clear skies in Houston and no rain on the forecast as far as I can tell. Not for a few days. So, off I go. Today, uh, I've got work stacked up, but coming up this weekend, Adrian and I are planning a trip down to Boca Chica to watch the uh, SpaceX Starship launch. And that should be fun. Uh, our plan is to moto camp on uh, South Padre. They've got a park down there. So uh, I will take my camping gear. We haven't decided what bikes we're gonna take yet. Um, it might be, uh, might be the Super Cubs. Ooh, I'm fogging up. It is very humid this morning. Uh, it might be the Super Cubs, it might be the uh, PCXs, I'm not sure. Uh, if we don't get out of here quick, quick, early enough, then we might end up uh, car camping it, you know, taking one of the, taking his uh, SUV or maybe uh, my truck or something like that uh, to get down there because it's a, it's a long haul to get down there. It's 480 miles or something like that, so it's a pretty good haul. I can't remember what the map said, but I know that it was about eight hours you know by car seven or eight hours so it would be longer than that on the uh the little bikes but we'll see uh i don't know which of the little bikes will do better on the beach if we're going to be beach camping or what the what the plan is for that but we'll see uh starship is tentatively launching on the 17th we don't know what time if it's early a.m if it's later in the day if it's uh, gonna happen at all uh, those launches are always kind of subject to uh, weather and uh, launch orbital conditions, you know, that's kind of variable stuff that happens. So it could be the 18th, it could be, you know, several days out. Uh, I can carve out a couple of days in my schedule to be down there. Uh, I think Adrian can do the same, but I don't know that we can be down there more than maybe three days uh, waiting on that to happen so hopefully it goes off without a hitch but even if it doesn't it'll be a good road trip it'll be fun I haven't done any beach camping in uh, a decade or more so that'll be a fun trip man the weather feels good this morning it's chilly it feels good it's nice to have after all the uh, rain that we've had down here for so long. It's been just, you know, if it wasn't raining, it was dreary and damp and nasty. Uh, but we had a solid couple weeks of uh, just off and on rains. Quite a bit of flooding too, but uh, our area out here didn't get flooded too badly. It was mostly the northern parts of town up near uh, above Conroe and stuff like that. The northern part of the metro really got hammered. So my shoulder's doing better, but it, it still hurts being in this position, you know, out at almost 90 degrees. Because I'm canted forward a little bit, my shoulder isn't quite 90 degrees because my you know, torso is bent forward. Uh, anything above 90 degrees on my uh, right shoulder really doesn't do well with me right now. And it it's new. I mean, that, uh, that aggravation of that issue uh, is a new development since the... Uh, the car accident back in the beginning of February so I don't know hopefully it's just uh, swelling and nonsense in the shoulder that's gonna get better over time but uh, the uh, MRIs that I had done showed uh, degenerative issues and also uh, obvious accident uh, inflammation you know damage and inflammation so getting old sucks and I've torn myself up so much over the years you know uh, grown to expect a lot of this and the <laughs> the funny thing was the uh, the MRI that I had uh, of my uh, neck my right shoulder and my lumbar spine uh, 
they found deviation. They found bulge discs in my neck, uh, deviated discs in my lower back, and uh, it's pretty significant deviation. Uh, again, some of it's degenerative, some of it is uh, more inflammation and uh, tweaking from that accident. But the doc got the results back, and he was reading them to me. You know, looking at the screen, looking back at me, look at the screen, look back at me, and he just he said, "How are you still walking around?" <laughs> and I said, uh, sheer will and determination, sir. <clears throat> so, basically, uh, I've got, I don't know what it was, uh, four to five millimeter deviation in the uh, bulge discs in my neck, which is significant. Uh, not irrecoverable or uncorrectable, but significant. Uh, the worst one was my lower back. I've got uh, three or four discs that are out of alignment in my lower back, and those are out by six to eight millimeters, and uh, the, in both cases, uh, cervical spine and lumbar spine, the uh, spinal cord is being impacted a little bit, so it's being compressed, and that's causing, you know, numbness and tingling and problems, you know, like my hand is numb out here on the right side and all that, but he said, Normally, people that have about six millimeters of deviation are uh, going in for surgery or to have their uh, uh, vertebra fused, you know, to eliminate pain and all that. I don't know. I'm just working with it, man. So they're always asking me to rate my pain, you know, what, what is your pain level and blah, blah, blah. And, and I, it's hard for me to answer that because... I tune it out, so I don't really know, uh, you know, it's all relative, it's subjective, so uh, I just live at a particular pain level, and it's only when it spikes up above that, you know, threshold that it gets my attention. So by the time it's, you know, by the time it's grabbing my attention, it's, it's pretty, pretty high up there when we're talking about, you know, spine and uh, back and neck pain, because I just turn it off. Anywho, so that's the uh, the health report. I'm doing better, but it's going to be a slow progress or slow uh, recovery over time uh, with modified exercises and uh, potentially some therapy treatment uh, in the way of uh, aided chemical assistance. Uh, I, I don't like doing pain pills or any pain medications. I think that's a bad idea, uh, but. I might do uh, cortisone in my shoulder. Uh, I wouldn't want to do that in my lower back. I don't know what the complications there are. Uh, or my neck for that matter. I don't want anybody poking around near my spine. So uh, I have a pain management uh, appointment today around noon and uh, I might go that route. Uh, they're going to give me recommendations. I'll see what the see what the consensus is uh, but I think if I end up doing any kind of injections I'll probably look for the new uh, they call them core cells basically stem cells uh, and it's a regenerative therapy uh, but that's like crazy expensive and it's elective so even if I had insurance which I don't insurance would not pay for it uh, it's like 16,000 bucks for a uh, three or four week treatment or whatever it is but uh, apparently that's kind of the new thing in uh, cutting edge medicine where you know athletes and you name it anybody that's got enough money to do it uh, that's the way to go because it actually rebuilds the cartilage and uh, the myelin sheath around the nerve channels you know the spinal column and all that so that's the way to go I'm not a proponent for any kind of uh, stabbing in my body <laughs> I don't like I don't like needles I don't uh, don't care for any of that if I can avoid it okay dude if you're not gonna go I'm gonna go dude, this visor's dirty I need to clean it a lot of sun glare I hate that behind that I'm gonna get hit in the shadows right there with the Sun blaring in the front that's a bad combo Whew, my tent is packed this morning 
even the HOV is clogged, so there must be an accident up here. Everybody's rubbernecking. Or it could be somebody pulled over. Every time someone gets pulled over for cheating in the HOV here, it backs up traffic in all lanes. Why? I'm not making no sense. Separated lanes, it's not involving you. Keep on rolling. Yep, stall car, an accident. Okay. So as far as the other trips uh, this season, I it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do the Life of Birch. I wish I could, but I don't think the timing is going to work out for that. And I'm not 100% sure on the Barber Small Bore either. Uh, my work and finances are still kind of tight, so I don't know if I can swing those or not. Uh, what I'm probably going to do is sell a couple of the bikes to finance the trip for the Cannonball. I've got uh, my Ducati Monster that I, I like it, but I just don't ride it that much, so I might let go of it. Uh, the Riker is on the chopping block, so those two are probably going to go, and you know that'll finance my month of not working, basically, offset my costs for uh, doing that trip. But I don't know about uh, timing for the rest of it. Hey guys, pay attention. I'm nailing the brakes for no reason. Ooh, it's going to be one of those mornings. play with the moto guillotine here never trust this thing it's almost hit me twice and it has hit me once don't you close on me you sack of <laughs> look at this thing look at this thing this is what it did to me one other day coming through here and jam near hit me on the head gravel I'm gonna park right here in front of the door where I can see the bike Uphill. Come on, pig. Okay, then. I have arrived. World Catering Bakery. I'll catch you all after uh, breakfast. Maybe uh, later in the day for my return commute. All right, well, breakfast was very good. This is a great little place for sitting down. Usually it's pretty calm here. Uh, they have their busy days, but today was pretty pretty slow in there, nice and quiet. Good breakfast for a pretty reasonable price. I always get the uh, American breakfast, which is uh, two eggs, uh, three strips of bacon, uh, hash browns, and it's like 10 bucks or something. Um, Ten or eleven dollars, and then I have them add a, an extra egg to it because two eggs isn't quite enough for me. Anyway, with coffee and all that, you can get out of here easily under fifteen bucks. Like what is twelve, thirteen dollars? It's good. It's hard to find uh, cheap breakfast places uh, these days. You know, prices for goods have gone up a lot <laughs> I mean we all saw the the egg prices just go through the roof uh, a couple months ago seems like uh, can't get a decent breakfast these days out for under 15 bucks not a real breakfast anyway I mean you gotta make nasties or someplace like that and have a, a biscuit or something that's uh, processed food and all that I mean still that meal combo is gonna cost you eight bucks or whatever I would rather spend a couple extra bucks and get a fresh cooked food. A little bit healthier at least, I would hope. Man, it feels good out here today. This 
the weather is perfect. I haven't even looked at the forecast. I know it's clear for the next several days, but I don't know what the high temps are. I think 80, maybe. And right now it's still high 60s. It feels good out here. Actually, I'm not gonna wait behind that line. I will go this way. Man, I wish I did not have to work today. Go out riding instead. Oh, so uh, Adrian sent a text this morning to the group saying that it looks like the Starship launch is going to be pushed back a little bit later in the week. So it's probably not going to be uh, Monday the 17th. So we may not be leaving this weekend. Uh, we might push it to more toward middle of the week and Neil might be able to join us uh, he's up in uh, I think Peely Missouri or somewhere doing the World of Outlaws uh, tour and uh, he said that Monday would be a stretch for him to get all the way down here uh, by then but if it pushes to later in the week he might be able to join us down there so that'll be cool we'll see get the whole crew out there for uh, little uh, South Padre Island moto camping. That'd be awesome. Scooter camping.